Hello my wonderful friends, Megas with you on a beautiful day in Asha and uh, my daughter's been here for about a week. She lives up in Florida and we're just having the best time and whenever she comes out uh, we always hit up all the different waterfalls and hikes that we enjoy and yesterday's was one of my favorites. Uh, it's called Granite Falls and on the way up there there's just this beautiful crystal shop that we both love and um, I went in looking for Apache Tear. They didn't have it, but what I did come across was two tarots in a tin. Uh, the Sun and Moon Tarot and the White Sage Tarot. So I was pretty excited about that. And she got this real beautiful journal. Uh, and, and then we went up to our favorite waterfall and just hung out and spent the day. And uh, just so beautiful. You, you know, and I think it's so important that we get out there and live Asha. I mean, we get together every day and we study about Asha and, and that's important, uh, but make sure you're getting out and enjoying this beautiful life and, and living Asha, spending time with the ones you love and doing the things that you love. It's so beautiful. So I thought we'd grab the Oracle. First course, we're on Asha 7 today. Oh, I love this. It says, new thought new destiny. That's perfect, my friends. We know with our thoughts, we make our world. You want to change our, your world? You just need a new thought. And, and that actually goes so perfect with Asha 7 today. Asha 7 is about resonance. And resonance is an amazing thing. You know, I've taught on this before. Like, I, I love guitars. And so I have quite a few different guitars, and if I hit the E string on one guitar, the other E strings will ring out with it because uh, they're uh, entrained. And entrainment's an amazing phenomenon. It allows different systems like that to align their energy. And so what you're vibrating, you're going to be in a match for other things vibrating at that. And so when we start to hold higher vibrations, my friends, we're, we're uh, calling in those higher things. You're coming into alignment with those higher things. And, and the beautiful thing about that too is it keeps out the things you don't want. And it actually puts a shield of protection around you. And that's why um, Asha 7 is so beautiful because it's talking about being grateful. And there's, there's actually a magic in gratitude, my friends, because for that very reason, you're creating that shield, that energy shield around you. It says resonance. I know being grateful will bring more things to be grateful for because it's cosmic law. It's how the universe works. And so uh, here's some of the things we can start saying. I'm grateful for life. I'm grateful for love. I'm grateful for family. I'm grateful for friends. I'm grateful for protection. I'm grateful for provision. I'm grateful for peace. I'm grateful for joy. I'm grateful for I live in this. I live in God. My good. God and I are one. I'm one with my good. And my friends, you see how just this change of thought, this new thought can change our destiny because now we're vibrating different you know and so I, I don't know what time of day you've come across this maybe it's a little too late to start over maybe you've had a rough morning or something uh or, or maybe you could start it right now but if not go to bed tonight get some good rest and, and wake up tomorrow and do this my friends and, and have a, a new thought and that's how we transcend that's how we go above the lie and illusion we don't wait around for the world to make us happy because do you know what the matrix and lying illusion is not going to make you happy my friends we create our atmosphere and here's one of the magic ways we can do it with gratitude so beautiful and get out there like I said do things you know go out at night with your kids and show them the different constellations in the sky go to a waterfall with them I mean just my friends Life is so beautiful. Don't get trapped in your head in negativity and in the in that matrix lie and illusion, my friends. Break through, free, transcend, and you can start that today by gratitude, being thankful, and you're going to start to vibrate a little higher. And guys, I love you so much. So thankful for all that you guys are doing. If you do me a favor, if you haven't already, please go to Amazon, Goodreads, all the different places you can leave a review for Asha and tell them how this book has changed your life. All right, guys, I love you so much. We'll see you tomorrow for Asha 8.